Hi, this is David. Today I'm going to talk about GitHub Code Spaces. A code space is a completely developed environment in the cloud. So I don't have to be installed locally on my computer or live in a browser, and I can start working on developing changes, making changes inside of my uh, my GitHub repository. To use to create a code space, I will open up a GitHub repository. Here's one that I created in an earlier video. Select the code tab here, and you'll see this green code button right here. Notice there are two tabs when I expand this window out, one called local and one called code spaces. And the simplest way to create one is just click create code space on main. Main refers to the main branch of this repository. And in a few seconds, it'll create a code space right here. And you notice it looks a lot like Visual Studio Code. Here is the Explorer tab right here. As you expect in the Explorer tab, on Visual Studio Code, you can see all the files in the repository. You can edit some files. I'll just edit this view right here. Index.cshtm. Um, and I'll change it from home page to GCast page right there. It'll actually auto save here. And then if I wanted to commit those changes, actually, if I wanted to right here at the source control tab, I can add those changes, I'll GitHub, add, and then I commit them, change title is the message, and I click commit right here, and then sync them back to the GitHub repository. And once I do that, I should be able to look in my GitHub repository over here and verify that that view has changed. It now says GCAS page. So I'm doing everything inside of my browser, which is really nice. Let me close this for now. And I'll show you a couple other things you can do with this. If I go back to the code tab and this code button and the code spaces tab here, here's my my code space. It was it give it a random name, musical waffle. Just pick some random adjective and noun. Usually it sounds kind of chilly, which is kind of silly. But I can, if I want to change that, I can click on those three dots right here. Let me refresh that again. Code, click three dots and expand it out here. You can see that one thing I can do is just delete it, but I'm done with that. I'll say no, I don't want to delete it. I'm still working on it. Um, or I can rename it here. So let's use musical waffle. I'll call it Gcast demo code space. That sounds good. And now you see it's listed as Gcast demo code space. Makes it a little bit easier to find, especially if you have multiple code spaces for a single repo. Now you don't have to just use the browser. You can also use Visual Studio Code itself. And the way we do that is Go to the command palette, you press Control Shift P on Windows, or just select the View Command Palette here. And in here, if I type code spaces, you notice there's a bunch of options here. I can, for example, delete it from here, but I can create a brand new code space from here, or I can connect to an existing code space. If I do that, it lists all the code spaces that I have, including this GCast GitHub demo one that was last used three minutes ago. I'm going to grab that one right there. And then load up inside of Visual Studio Code. My repository, but rather than bringing the files down to my local machine, you can see it right here. It's actually running in the code space. It is being hosted in the cloud. And if I go look at the files here, I can see look at the same view file index right here. You can see it's GCast page, and I can work with this. I just have a couple exclamation points to the end of it. And same thing again, I'll just stage my changes here and commit them with a message here. and sync those changes back up to GitHub. 
So my workflow is really the same as if I were working locally, but I'm not bringing these files down locally. Everything is being done in the cloud. And now that I've synced those files, I can go back to here to my repository. I should see those exclamation points in this file. There they are. So this is another way of doing a development environment. If you don't want to bring things down locally and you want to share some settings with other people, um, then GitHub code spaces are a way to go. Other people can open this. It's, you're not just restricted to this. Other people can use it. I'll show you a couple other things here. I just went into code spaces and created a brand new one. You did the same with this plus button, but what I, if you select or sorry, select this, Then I have some other options here. New with dev container here. Now I can specify which branch I want. I can tell it what region I want. So maybe I have developers in Western Europe that might make sense to put it there. Um, I can specify the machine size that is running on a virtual machine. And maybe I two cores is enough. Maybe I want to have a 16 core machine. It'll cost more money, but if I need that kind of power. I can use that as well. I can create it this way as well. In this video, I've shown you how to create, manage, and use a GitHub code space. This is David. Thank you for watching. Yeah.